Assalamu alaikum and I welcome you all to Mashal Tariq Knowledge Venture channel. So let's start with the exercise 13C of book D3 of Maths O Level Syllabus. Now what is exercise 13C? It is related to the angle properties of a circle which we have discussed in the last uh, video. Uh, what is question number one? Given that O is the center of each of the following circles, find the value of each of the unknown. If you, if you remember the property number 1 which is related to the angle at the center is equals to twice of the angle at the circumference. So uh, the angle A according to the property number 1 of angle uh, properties of circle. So angle A will be twice of the 40. So A is equals to 80. I will please listen to the explanation carefully. Now in the B part what is this? Is It is the circle at the center um, now what is this? It is the angle at the center and it is the angle at the circumference. So uh, the circum, the angle at the circumference will be half of the angle at the center. So B will be 30. B will be 30. Now what is C? C, so you are having 2 of the angles okay and if you remember the property number three if i label take this as a segment a b so these are the same angles out of so the so these are related to the property number three which is all uh, the angles at the circumference from the same segments are equal so c will be equal to uh, 40 degree now what about part d Part D again it is related to the property number 1. So angle D will be half of the angle 230 which is property number 1 is angle at the center is equal to twice of the angle at the circumference and this is the reverse vice versa. Uh, so angle at the circumference will be half of the angle at the center. So it will be D is equal to 230 by 2 which is equal equals to 115 degree uh, 115 d is equals to 115 degree now what about uh, e e again it is related to the property number one which is the angle at the center but it is related to the major arc so we have to first subtract it from 360 degree so 360 degree minus 110 you will get 250 degree 250 degree uh, will be the angle at the center and angle E will be half of the uh, 250 by 2 which is equals to 125 degrees now what is F F again the angle at the circumference is 40 degree so we can find out the angle at the center and uh, the angle and the uh, center will be 80 degree and you know uh, these are the radi radii of the circle and so the uh, this triangle is an isosceles triangle so both of the angles will be same so you we can apply the sum of the angles of triangle angle which is 180 degree and 180 degree minus 80 divided by 2 and you will get f is equals to 50 degree so let's solve this question part f how can you solve this question part f is this to find out uh, the angle at o we will just take the twice angle angle o is equals to twice of the 40 degree which is 80 degree. Now to find out the angle F, we apply the sum of the angles of the triangle and it is an isosceles triangle. So angle F is 180 degree minus 80 degree divided by 2 which is F is equals to 50 degree. G again if you just tilt the book 
the angle at the center is given to us which is 70 degree so we can find out the angle uh, at the circumference which is 35 degree and again it is an isosceles triangle so this angle if this angle is 35 it will also be 35 and again uh, with the property of an alternate angle of uh, parallel uh, lines uh, so this angle G uh, is also uh, 35 degree at the circumference will be half of the 98 which is 49 degree part H we are given with the angle at the center so the angle at the circumference can be find out by taking the half of the angle at the center which is 49 degree if you consider this triangle OAB it is an isosceles triangle because OA and OB being the radii of the circle so we can find out these angle OAB uh, is equals to 180 degree minus 98 divided by 2 you will get uh, uh, 41 degrees now consider this triangle if uh, I uh, take this point as a C. So consider A, B, C. Okay. Now consider triangle A, B, C to find out the angle H. Now you know this is uh, 49 degree. These angles are 41, 41 degree. We know 21 degree. So we can find out this angle H. So let's solve for this. 1 80 angle H is equals to 180 minus 49 minus 241 angle minus 21. Okay, now you will get H degree is equals to 28 degrees. In the next video, we will solve from question number 2 of exercise 13c. Thank you.